Number 1 Place de la Comédie and Lycasson. This grand public square is the heart of Montpellier, a center of activity that is busy from daytime until late hours in the evening. The Place de la Comédie is fondly called Luf, the egg, because of its elliptical shape. In the middle of the square stands the emblematic Fontaine des Trois Graces. Number 2 Promenade du Peru. Just outside of Montpellier's historic center, the Promenade du Peru pays homage to France's celebrated Sun King with a monumental equestrian statue. The monarch is depicted heroically on horseback with an outstretched arm as if heading into battle. Number 3 Musée Fabre. Found within Lycasson, this prestigious fine arts museum displays an exceptional collection of European sculptures and paintings from the medieval era to the contemporary period. Especially well represented are Italian Renaissance art, 16th and 17th century Dutch paintings, and 17th to 19th century French landscape paintings. Number 4 Palais des Congrès de France, a hub for cultural events just outside of Montpellier's historic center, the modern Palais des Congrès de France provides a striking contrast to the city's older buildings. Pink granite covers the facade, while the sleek interior features exposed metal beams. Number 5 Cathedral Saint-Pierre The unusual appearance of the Cathedral Saint-Pierre results from its mishmash of architectural styles. Built between the 14th and 18th centuries, the cathedral has an imposing fortress-like facade featuring two medieval towers. The simple interior reveals a somber Gothic ambience. Number 6 Place de la Canure The Place de la Canure is one of the prettiest spots in Lycasson. As Montpellier's oldest square, it's one of the best places to visit for a taste of elegant ambience. Surrounded by 17th-century Hotel Particulier, aristocratic mansions, and shaded by leafy trees, the Place de la Canure has the feel of a romantic garden. Number 7 Cartier Saint Roch The Cartier Saint Roch is a happening neighborhood in Lycasson, between the Rue Saint Guilhem, the Grand Rue Jean Moulin, and the Jus de Pomme Boulevard. With its bustling cafe terraces and festive local hangouts, the Cartier Saint Roch exudes a convivial spirit. Number 8 Montpellier Botanical Garden. In 1593, King Henri IV commissioned the creation of the Jardin des Plantes, which is one of the first botanical gardens developed in Europe. The Jardin des Plantes became a model for similar gardens throughout France. Number 9 Planet Ocean. Fittingly located at Montpellier's Port Marianne, the Planet Ocean plunges visitors into an exciting world of ocean-themed adventures. Visitors can discover more than 400 diverse species, including coral reefs, penguins, sharks, stingrays, clownfish, frogs, geckos, and iguanas. Number 10 Cartier Courier Bordering the Cartier Saint Roche, the Cartier Courier is an adorable neighborhood between the Place Saint Anne and the Place Saint Roch in Lycasson. The old buildings, medieval cobblestone streets, and narrow pedestrian lanes make this area an enchanting place to wander around. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.